Sly was a kid, five villains came and stole his family heirloom full of thieving secrets. They tore it up and went their separate ways. But now, with his two partners in crime, let's see if we can't steal it back. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to The Void. I'm player one, by myself. But uh, two will, will be along at the tail end. And welcome to the bonus episode of Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. Of course, last time, we beat Clockwork, the nasty thing. And uh, since we did that, we could go back to that one level and get the last vault. And uh, yeah, we're, I think we're sitting at like 80-something percent. But as Bentley said last time, there's still one more thing for us to do, and that's do all of the time trials. Gotta do all those. So, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go, gonna see how I do. Sadly, I don't think we got any moves that will really help here. Actually, no, never mind. We did get the, the time stop thing. That might work. Anyway, here we go. A stealthy approach. The very first level. There it is right there. That is the... That is the thing, right? Why did the... Why did the... Why did it go away? Can I not... Can I... Can I not use it in the... In the level? Is that not a thing I can do? Let's... Let's, let's see here. Can I not use it? Okay, no, I think it was... Let's... Let's just go. Let's just go. It's been a while since we went through these levels, so I gotta remember how to do stuff. I feel like the time is not forgiving. feel like the time is not forgiving. How am I going to make it there? Because then I still got this part. Come on. Come on. No, this is not, this is not going to work. How the hell? How do you? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So, I had to I had to see what the route was. But this one kind of sucks cuz no matter what, once you get to the wheels that spin with the gaps in them, you have to wait until like 19 seconds because that's the only like cycle you can get through. But you can speed it up by slightly using the roll just like in quick bursts. It, it does help. So I got here in like one second remaining. So that that brings me great hope for the next ones. Oh joy, but there we go. Yeah, 0.5 seconds left. That seems very bad. All right, uh, into the machine. I don't remember how these levels are laid out, so just gonna have to go and hope I remember. Okay, this one.
am focusing very hard right now. Okay. That was bad. I can just do this probably. God damn it. God damn it. Okay, I've gotten to this point. Hopefully that should be enough time. I think it is, maybe. Come on, it's right there. It's right fucking... I hate this. I don't know how, but I've gotten here with eight seconds this time. So, there, there we go. Somehow. I really, really, I really don't like these. <laughs> Also, I discovered something. I think they take your lucky charm if you go in with one. That's some shit. That is some shit. Alright. High class heist. Let's see how bad this one is. One minute? What do you mean, one minute? Is this level really that short? Oh yeah, this is this is the really short level, yeah. I did not want to go that way. I don't know how I have this equipped. How do I how do I have the stupid dive equipped? I want the roll. Okay. I don't know how that happened, but now we should be fine. Sometimes the roll is not the move. Is that it? I think that's it. I think I think I've boinked it now. Yeah, severe. Oh, did you see that? Did you see? I'm pretty sure when I got caught, my time just plummeted. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, if you're spotted, the time just goes stupor fast. Don't ask me what stupor means. Oh my god. Okay. I have the strategy now. It should be a little easier. Oh, that's bad. That was a bad one. I haven't known. You can now do that. Didn't know you could do that. Also, you don't have to go to any of the sneaking things. You can just jump. Oh, yeah. I've done did it with point 
one seconds left. Oh my god. I hate these. I hate these a lot. Okay, fire down below. Lord. Okay. Minute 30. Alright, don't I have to... I... man. So it turns out you can actually save a lot of time in this one. So check check this out, right? Go over here, go over here. We're on this part. Look at this. What the shit? Super mega skip. So now we should have plenty of time to get to the end. And yes, we have to do this part. I, the fucking, come on. just have to get to the end. Which we have a lot of time to get there, so I'm not worried. Only all the levels had a super mega skip. It would be less stressful. Alright, there's that one. 86%. Still have one, two. Two more for here. A cunning disguise. Oh, this is the barrel one. Minute 30. So oh, imagine I could do that. Right, I had to bring the bear. There's, there's definitely a lot of skips here. Hang on. There's definitely a lot of stuff I could do here. Oh, yes. So, for this one, you want to start it and make sure you have a lucky charm. So make sure you have, like, 95 or something coins so you can get it during the sprint. So then you take the barrel, you go down here, you do this, so ba ba da boo ba ba boo ba ba boo Kill this guy, and then you jump up here, up here, up here, and then up here. Super mega skip. I love him. Okay. And then the end is right over there. And this is why you get the lucky charm, so then you can just damage boost. Over there, bada bing, bada boom. There's that one. I like, I like the tricky, the, the tricky, tricky little stuff right there. I like that. Okay. One more for Raleigh. Gunboat Radio. I remember this one being short. I remember this one being really short. So, let's see. 
Yeah, minute 10. on me that that was all me let's try that again I could. I thought I could. This is a very short level, so it won't take me long to figure this out. the end. I forget where the end is. It's right there. Okay. Ooh. Didn't even need any strategies. I did it by myself. Ooh, with one, with one second to spare. Okay, so that's... That's Raleigh done. First section done. Oh boy. Exit to hideout. Still, uh, still three more to go, so... Now we move on to Meg Shot. At least he only has five levels. Alright, a rocky start. So far, so good. I... I didn't know the, the, the crusher was... This right there. Whew. That was that was very close. I was at like point four, 
and then the dog that's right there that throws cards, he hit me into the exit, and that counted. Ooh, that was nice. Ooh, that was nice. Okay, that one done. Now then, uh, Boneyard Casino. This is the flooded casino. Casino? What am I saying? I don't know what's happening, the, the damn camera did not work with me. So far this one has been the most annoying. But I have 16 seconds and I'm on the last roulette thing. So, there we go, okay. Yeah, this, this one has been the most annoying so far, but I think that's just because it's been the longest level. So let's go do a shorter one. Uh, where is it? Straight to the top, I believe it is. Yeah, yeah, this one. Okay. Uh, go. Ooh. Somehow skipped one. Just fall down. Good thing it doesn't count cutscenes, as you know. Okay, so then gotta go here. No, no, how? I pressed the button. Ah, uh, yeah, that's, that's it, that's, that's it, the run is dead. Especially if I get caught on stuff. One second left? How the hell? Hmm. There's probably some good skips in this one, if I had to guess. Ah, oh, god, god damn it! Oh yeah, we got we got skips. Check this shit out. Okay, well, well, not, well, not like that. Um, hang on. Let, let, let me, let me do it. There we go. That shit is cool. Go over here. Better ba do. Yeah, that already saved a good amount of time. You got a little cheeky one right here. And then a huge ass one. L look at this, look at this. You go up here. Ugh. 
Oh. That was, that was juicy. Juicy skip. And uh, we're already at the end. Very, very nice. Bagoink. I, I, I really like the ones that have cool skips you can do. Alright, there's that one. So now we have two to Tango and Back Alley Heist. Uh, let's try Back Alley Heist. You can't even, like, jump forwards. Oh. That sort of nullifies a lot of skips that could happen. Oh, this section. There's got to be a way to skip this section, because this is slow, and I just... No, you can't. I already got nine seconds left. Yeah, there's there's got to be a lot more to this one. Not really, just a lot of optimized movement. I got there with uh, two seconds left. That one was kind of eh, it's kind of eh. But I, I did it. So now we got just one more. Two to Tango, and that's the Carmelita level. This is already basically a speedrun, so shouldn't be shouldn't be that bad. If I if I turn truck and do that. Okay. Now let's try. Boink! Up. Now Carmelita's here. Luckily no cutscene, because that would kind of defeat the whole point of a speedrun. Oh, come on. Uh-huh, yeah, I saw that. Alright, down here. Don't know how I did that. Oh! Hang on, hang on, I'm coming back. It was a time loss, but I don't think it was that egregious. Should be fine. Hello, Carmelita. How long is this level? Where is the end? Seven seconds left, I don't even know where the end is. Oh god damn it. Okay, check this out. Check check this out. 
Not that. Hang on. Game? Game. Come on. Work with me here. I know it can be done. Come on, game. I literally saw it. Please make it happen with your wonky chandelier physics. But y'all, y'all see what, what I'm going for, right? Y'all see what I'm going for? Oh my goodness. All right. The trick is to not aim at the ladder. Aim in between the ladder and the platform, and then, then it'll work. Also, don't, don't mind that the audio is off. I turned it off to focus. I will turn it back on after this. Bye-bye, Carmelita. Bye-bye. All right. Two down, two to go. Vicious Voodoo, Miss Ruby. Start with the Dread Swamp Path. I really do not remember these levels, so hopefully this goes well. Okay, minute 35. Alright, this had the, the swamp monsters. Shit. And falling in the water is way worse than falling just in a pit because he has to do the whole ass animation. So you don't even need to deal with the swamp monsters. Check this out. Ugh. Huge ass skip. I like that. Bop wink. And now I can just uh, go straight to the end. Because you don't need to break the, the candles during the speed run. Just go straight to the end. All right. There's that one. All right. Next up. What should be next? Descent into danger. I remember that one. I don't want to do that one yet. Let's do Lair, Lair of the Beast. Because this is also basically already a speedrun level. Tail end it becomes a speedrun level. But it's it's pretty simple, so I should be able to do it relatively easily. So good. And isn't it now when the thing? Yeah. Right, come on, let's 
right over there. No, no, fuck off. <sighs> okay, come on, it's it's right there. Just let me just let me walk into it. Just let me walk into it. I've like okay. Whew. Whew. I tell you, why does it have to play the whole animation when you fall in the water? That Ugh. Ugh. All right, already down to two here. We got Descent into Danger and a Grave Undertaking. I forget what this one is. Let's try this one. Ah, uh, the ghosts. Right, this one. There, there might be some skips in this one. Oh, okay. This one's kind of nuts. So we start out, we start out normal. We just go through. And then, once we get here, we die. No, once we get here, we go here to get these ghosts out the way. Go. Just, just check this out, okay? Jump up here and then over here. And then we can ever so slightly, fuck. No, we, we're doing some out of bounds shit. It's it's nuts. We can like, hmm, I'm going to have to try this a couple of times, but it's it's insane. Is it there? I don't know where I'm jumping. OK, OK. Jump like over here. You jump to that spot, and he should, like, do some weird collision. Like that, like that, like that. Whoa. Okay, so now you go up here. You go up here. Oh, this jump might be a little, a little tricky. Oh, there we go. You go up here, and now, now we're fully, like, look, there's, oh, that's not supposed to be like that. Oh, but hook. Look over here. Uh, it's the it's the end of the level. And I'm stuck in a tree. So be careful and know that that can happen. But if you do it right, uh, the end is right there. Man, now we're even going out of bounds. I love these tricks. Okay, Descent into Danger. The one where... I don't like this one. Because the end is right there. But you gotta go forward, then up, then all the way back. But of course, there is a nice, tasty skip in this one. So we just do this, like normal. Go over here, give it to Diddly -dee, diddly -dee. Then we go up here and we do something like uh, like this. Do something like this. Like that. Oh yes. So that skips a good bit. And now we just uh, go to the end like normal. Now, sadly for this one, 
you do have to break all the candles. And you also have to wait for the fire. But if you get the, the, the thing at the start, yeah, the rest of this should be no problem. And uh, just like that, we're done. Miss Ruby is finished. Now there is but one more hub. And then the Master Thief Sprints will be over. I gotta say, folks, I do not like time trials in games. But these have been, uh, these have been serviceable, you know? not too bad, not too bad. We have four more, so let's begin with a perilous ascent. Okay, all right. Okay, so most of this, most of this is normal. You just, you just go through. But then, at the very end, there's something pretty cool. Oh, fuck you. So yeah, you just you just keep going like normal. It's basically same old level. You can do this cool little thing. To do that. But that's not that's not the cool thing. You do you do this. Now, here's the thing. So we come to this part. We wait for this guy, we kill him. And then, you see how the fireworks are right there? Uh-huh. And then it puts us back here. That's, that's pretty cool. I like that. And then uh, we're at the end. Pretty cool first one. Three more. All right, now let's do let's do Flaming Temple of Flame. Quite familiar with this one, as we needed to come back here for some stupid bottles. All right, this one's. This one's just normal. There's no like big skips or nothing. Just go through it like normal. With precise movements, not like that. For the, the monkeys, the funny, the funny monkeys. I hate these guys. I hate them. something though you can do that 
and then get it right so where he doesn't hit you. Or it could just, you know, get a lucky charm over the course, so even if he does hit you, it doesn't matter. Of course, if you land on the thing... Okay, hit it and then immediately get on it. Don't hit it while you're on it. There we go. Okay, so now it should just be a quick little jump to the end. Got this little room, but this doesn't really affect anything. Because the end is right oh, there. Okay. Next up, let's do the Unseen Foe. Alright, this is the one where it's just the, the two towers. And then you have to climb up them. This one doesn't seem too complicated. At least I don't think. I don't know why I did that. Yeah, you're supposed to just walk through that that part. Just 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 with the bat. So I don't know why I did that. Now just keep going on like normal. can actually jump over his line of sight. That's pretty cool. Alright, so now we're here. What am I- what is in my ear? Who's doing that? Alright, then we got another room like like this. Doesn't really matter. Then we hook onto one of these and go Wahoo! I've I've fucked it. I've I've fucked it. Do I try to salvage this? No, no I do not. Okay, now that I'm not an idiot, and actually let go at the right time, let's uh, now do this. Pretty sure I can just, yeah. You can, you can just do that. Get out of my ear with that, you nasty. Okay, we're here. The last time trial, duel by the dragon. Saved this one because... It's another Carmelita level, so it's automatically already a speedrun. So, I'm just gonna... Give it a try. 240. So they expect you to take quite a while on this. Alright, let's see here. I think when we did this level before, that platform was already destroyed, and we didn't know that was there. That really, that really messed me up. section's not hard, but then we gotta wait for her to destroy the next section. Okay. 
Okay. A minute left. We may be able to make it. Maybe. Okay. And then we have these drop. I'm an idiot. 30 seconds. I think we're almost at the end. Yeah. Yeah, we should be fine. I think this is already... Yeah. Yeah, we should be fine. Say bye-bye again, Kermit Leader. Okay. And with that, I think we're done. Oh, you bastard. You... Hello? You bastard. Ugh. All right. 100% yeah! Excellent, Sly. You've beaten all the Master Thief sprints and unlocked all the designer's commentary. Check out this fascinating behind-the-scenes movie. Later. Later, Bentley. We have the making of Sly Cooper and the commercials and outtakes. Outtakes? Ooh, I like those. I like those. Yeah, there we go. Finally, everything is done. So we're gonna watch those two things, but it's going to be a different different day for me, but for you it will be like two seconds. Hello there, sir. Hi. Um, I just noticed there's a trap door by Bentley's desk. Oh. Hmm. What's down there? What is down there, Bentley? Hmm. Okay. So. Okay, it's where he keeps the bodies. Yeah. I mean, we do kill, like, all of them. Well, they aren't dead, they're just... You know... In jail. So, I'm pretty sure, now that we did all those, every level we'd go into... Thor McCracken. I... I at least... I thought... Every level... Would have... Huh. Where's what? the developer commentary? Weird. Maybe that's a PS2 exclusive. From from what I saw, every level you should go in and then you press L1 and then you get developer commentary. But, huh. Eh. Oh well, we still have two things to watch. So, uh, All right. the making of Schley Cooper. How should I describe Sly Cooper? Cunning. Suave. Mm -hmm. Crafty. Mm -hmm. Thievius Arcutus. He's charismatic, suave, debonair, cool, slick, fast, stealthy, athletic, just a daredevil. Sly Cooper is charming thievery. Ooh, the old logo. Ooh. We started with the idea that we wanted to do an action game where the the primary character I wonder what Sucker Punch Studios is doing nowadays. Was a pretty natural fit in terms I don't of, know if Sucker you know, Punch is around the, the mask being in place but um, the being, people uh, are probably somewhere as Dev would say a creature of the night we very early on wanted to make a game that looked and felt Man, like you can a tell even from the PS2 that, that looks one step different realism, from the PS3 version flat and graphic we started experimenting with different ways we could bring this character to life uh, cell shading how to make it feel like a cartoon oh, still not like call of duty games. we want it to mm. actually look like it was inked and painted and we want the backgrounds to be you know really lush and have a painted a 
painted look, so it looks like it's a, a living animated episode that you've been through. Mug shots area. When you look at the game initially, the first thing that draws you in is the beautiful art style and lush, very, very lush uh, look of the environments. But when you actually play the game, the gameplay. Hey, those chandeliers is lush are different. As well. Those guys look a little bit different too. Huh. The original conception of uh, the Sly character uh, was a much more realistic raccoon, chubby Ew. and not quite as no. lithe as the no, is no. Now. It kind of evolved as we went along. Once we got to that part where he kind of evolved into what that guy looked like, like Sid uh, the Sloth mixed with a rat from Ice Age. And try to put every Some of them was Rocket Raccoon. That I could. He was kind of tiptoeing and he's really like rearing back to like ease his foot forward trying to keep all his weight back so his foot falls softly on the ground and really try to to hone his personality through subtleties in the movement and really try to push the fiefiness is we wanted sly to feel really agile we wanted him to feel like sly could do uh the most amazing physical feats yeah yeah player of the game feel i will like say i did appreciate like that uh like you could you get all were. the clues on your first try if you were smart about it through Slide not on your first playthrough through all the levels. Really cool. yeah. He comes from a long line of super raccoon thieves. And the source of their kind of thieving greatness is this book called the Thievius Raccoonus. Thievius Raccoonus. Incredibly valuable heirloom that is stolen from Sly's family when he's very young. He has come of age and now- You think they have a design for a Sly Papa? noble duty to take back the Thievius Raccoonus. Probably not. Sly has two buddies, Bentley and Murray. Bentley provides a lot of the plans Nerd for ass. their missions. He does a lot of things that are very important for Sly to complete his missions. Murray has a huge case of, of Sly envy. He wants to be Sly in the worst possible way and he has absolutely none of the capabilities to do it. Oh. 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 A hero is only as good as his villains. We wanted to create villains, you know, making them dangerous, making them menacing, making them goofy. Mm -hmm. Just giving them as much personality Every colored as Sly Cooper. Yeah. It's a super high bar um, being in the action adventure category. I mean, all of the greatest games, the best games that are out there are all action adventures. The genre is such that you have to really excel in every single phase of the game. Going from saying Sly should be sneaky to actually having him feel sneaky in the game is hard. You have to start and you have to get the animation right, then you have to figure out how the engine's gonna play the animation and how it gets affected by where he is and what he's doing and how the player can feel in control at the same time. People are doing shoot 'em ups and, and things with you know big weapons and things like that. And this had this is all about character, so you can like, get the feeling of uh, you know I am sly and I'm I'm sneaking around. Anytime I guess this would be a anything in the environment, shooter build it in a way era. That, you know, as Sly's running over, mm -hmm. it might seem more stealthy. We completely exploit that. And our golden rule is whatever is thiefier wins. If you want to make a game looks different. The PS2 gives you the opportunity to do that. As a programmer, it has a ton of tools for doing, for solving all sorts of different types of technical problems. A big focus for us um, has been in getting our tool set to the point where the artists were really unconstrained. Artists will come to us with, they want the game to look this way, or boy, can we have a line around all the characters, um, the cell shading that we do, or can we do the lighting models so that things that are bright have certain colors on them. And, they have a, a lot of really cool ideas, and uh, I and the other people on the programming team work on trying to get the technology put in place so that um, so that we can you know make those ideas happen. So what were we able to? The the damn thing crashed. Let's let's finish this. This is interesting. I like I like seeing this stuff. It has happened. So what were we able to do? Was put together our own writing algorithm. Thank you. Thank you. We could get it to all run super fast and it all look different than other games. That was really our goal from the start was to have a game which looked different. Definitely looks different it's been an from most things. It's been a team to build a game like this. It's been great working with such a dedicated group of people. I've never really ever worked with a group.
group, I think, is as hardcore as this. It really does require unbelievably talented artists, unbelievably talented programmers, and unbelievably talented designers. How you doing? There's a new thief in town. The designers, I think, have done a wonderful job of giving players, giving players the experience of sneaking and being a thief and at the same time the same making time the designs make accessible, accessible to people so people that so you that don't need to don't be a super gamer in order to play it, although play there are tons of things that are in the game for those people. We're making a game that anyone can play. You can't just have great art. You can't just have great art. You can't just have great characters. You gotta have it all. It's not about just how the game looks. It's about how the game plays and how the player experiences it. It's all about fun. You can make a really cool character, but it's not fun to play. It's not worth doing. There you go. These Sly's people cool. are smart. He's collected. He's adventurous. Sly is Sly. Sly. It is not a misnomer. Also in Europe, uh, Sly Raccoon, not not Sly Cooper. Sly Raccoon. Weird. Mm. Okay, let me open up the damn thing again so we can watch the last thing. The damn thing didn't want to cooperate. I found the other thing. Shout out to Two C. Phoenix for the commercials and outtakes. I think he done. He done got on the train. What was that all about? Uh Sly Cooper, he's one cunning, <laughs> one of the most raccoon has suffered the for everyone. Hey, God, hey, God, wait a minute, hey, wait a minute, let me see that, let me see that guy again. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> Look at him. What's about the PS3 you know, that we joke doesn't have games? Yeah. Oh, this is bad. Oh, who's that guy? I know that guy. Let me guess. Yeah, the ad campaign is just getting a real life raccoon. I like that. That's funny. Why not a couple of pictures and then go home? Anybody you recognize here? Nah. Huh? I don't hang out with animals, animals, man. Animals, man. Yeah. Which one is he? Does this ring a bell? Which one? Which one? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> <laughs> that, this, this is a pretty good ad campaign for everyone. This is actually very funny. Welcome to the commercial outtakes for Ooh. Sly Cooper. Oh, commercial outtakes. Devious, devious raccoonus. He's also one pretty bad actor. Okay, cameras rolling, yeah, rolling and, and action. action. What was that all about? Okay, no, no. <laughs> Can we uh, get him to stop licking? Oh, where's he going? Where's he going? I can can you look at the camera? That's yeah. a not you. That's a big old raccoon. Right. Look at him. Reaching for the start. What is that? All right, he he he's chewing an egg or. A... Right. Is he gonna hurt her? Come back here. Come back here. Uh, is he a fleas? Uh, that, that's that's crazy. I'm See this stick. this is the kind of stuff. Okay, he, he's not supposed that. to eat the peanuts. <laughs> Could someone get another raccoon? In? Oh, this is bad. Okay, smoke. Okay, smoke. More games should have stuff like this. Okay, less smoke. Hey, less smoke. <laughs> All right, smoke. Let's smoke. Alright, who's doing the smoke? Oh, We've got way too, got much, way smoke. too much smoke. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Oh, cool. Very... Hello, bandit. Bandit. Okay, this is good, good, good. Wait. Wait, bandit? Bandit, where are you going? Bandit, where are you going? Bandit! <laughs> bandit! <laughs> Hey, come back. I know that cat. Which cat? Which cat? Which cat? Show me the cat. 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 Show
the damn Aflac duck. Yeah, I know that snake. <laughs> you know what this is? <laughs> no. We call this a rap sheet, pal. And it doesn't say anything good about you. You got... <laughs> And one moment. And we're back. Ha ha he. There's a lot of cops. Like to go home, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm the <laughs> I'll, I'll. It's been a bit I since we. That dude. He's a snake. I wonder why he just started going to the rock sand. Look at that dog. Give me you I, don't, give me I don't know any no, of these. You're going to me I don't hang out with animals, man. We're not all this social. Did animals. I animals? Monkey. Mm, monkey. He's just hanging out. I can hear it through your side. What? All right, folks. Well, I think those were pretty cool bonuses. I liked those very much. Indeed. And with that, Sly Cooper is done. Pretty cool, pretty cool. We already spun the wheel for this one, right? Yes, yes, yes. This it was, was a JRPG. Just... No, the got Half-Life from this one. Ah. Uh. This was just a fun little bonus thing to fully close the book. And now we're done. So you don't have to play the game again. Nice. All right. Well, I've been player one. I've been player two. And we'll see you next time in something else. Maybe. Bye bye. Bye.